this first lesson, I will teach you the meaning, the proper pronunciation, the proper tonality, and the proper rhythm for the canticle that forms the root of the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai Now the canticle is composed of five breaths, five speaking breaths, um, and it is in Hebrew, but it can just, majority of it can just as well be spoken in English. And I'll explain. First breath, and the first word, is Ani. Now this is the Hebrew letters of Aleph, Nun, and Yod. And the word Ani, Ani, means I, or I am. And so the word I am, or the phrase I am, can be substituted for Ani, if you wish. Ani, I am. The, the word Ani is spoken from the lowest natural comfortable tone to the highest. So we go up with the Ani, from the lowest to the highest. Now these are your comfortable levels of speaking. Um, so Ani, Ani. That takes the entire first breath. And we inhale, and we say Yod He Vav He. These four words um, are the letters of the unspeakable name of God in the Hebrew tradition. Now, essentially, this means the template upon which everything exists. So it is um, not necessarily a name, but a symbol of the entire cosmos, divided into four letters. For in Hermetics, we attribute them to the elements. Yod, fire, first He, water, the Vav, air, and the final He, earth. Um, now, this can't be translated into English. In a uh, Christian uh, Bible, it's uh, Jehovah. Uh, some people call it Yahweh, but this is incorrect, fundamentally incorrect. The yod -Heh vav -Heh is written without vowel points, and it's the vowel points that make a word uh, speakable. So it is fundamentally unutterable as a word. Uh, it is symbolic. Um, beyond that, it is considered in the Jewish, the Hebrew tradition, to be uh, so far beyond the human comprehension as to be unutterable. So, we, we say this name um, by pronouncing the individual letters. yod he vav he And they're intoned at the highest tone, where we left off with the Ani. Ani yod he vav he Ani yod he vav he. Okay, that's the second breath and the second word we speak. And then we speak Adonai, Adonai. And this is, in the Hebrew tradition, another word for God. It is a word that is always uttered when yod he vav he is written. Um, and it means, ostensibly, it means Lord, um, as in a, a, a sort of noble person, a Lord. Um, th it has a very deep mystical tradition where Adonai and yod he vav -He are combined to form another word um, that is symbolic of the human, um, the human elevated to yod he vav -He. the human who has understood the yod he vav -He to such an extent that they speak it through living it 
And that is how one speaks the yod heh vav -He, by being the yod heh vav -He. So, ani yod heh vav -He, Adonai. And the Adonai is again spoken from the lowest tone to the highest tone. We, we rise with the Adonai. Adonai. Yod he vav he Adonai. Okay, that's the third breath and the third utterance. The fourth is a phrase. Ribono shel olam. These three words together mean master of the universe. Now, master, the word ribono, is the same root as rabbi. So it isn't a master, ksh, you shall do what I have said. Uh, it's master as in someone who has attained, someone who knows and passes that knowledge. So I am master of the universe. Ani yod he vav he Adonai ribono shel olam. I am yod he vav he Adonai, master of the universe. Ribono shel olam is said in three tones. The highest tone, Ribono, Shel, Olam, highest, lowest, and mid-tone. So, Ribono, Shel, Olam, Ani, Yod, He, Vav, He, Adonai, Ribono, Shel, Olam, Ani, Yod he vav he Adonai Ribon shel olam. Now the fifth breath, the fifth and final phrase or word of uh, the canticle is Amen. Now we say Amen, but it means truth. It also means faith. So the, what we're using here is Amen means this is truth. So it, it, it completes the canticle. And it is said again on that rise. From Amen, Amen. So, Ani, Yod, He, Vav, He, Adonai, Ribon, Shel, Olam. of the universe. This is truth. It's not as magical sounding in English, but the important thing here is the meaning of the canticle. You must understand the meaning of what you're saying. Okay, no magical words. There is no magic in the canticle in and of itself. It's what we do with the canticle that becomes magic. And we'll talk about that later. So, practice. Practice saying the canticle, uh, intoning the canticle as you can. Um, try to master it so you're not stumbling over it as you're saying it in the in further practice. And that you understand what it means. So, practice away. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ribon shel olam, 